I want to talk to you about accepting PayPal payments on your Muse website. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, I actually have the PayPal website open here, paypal.com. And this is a really pretty simple method for accepting payments, and it doesn't take that much. It's actually pretty easy. But there's a couple things to think about. If you don't have a PayPal account, a lot of us already do, but if you don't, you can always go to the sign up button here and you'll see it's going to say, okay, let's sign up and create an account. If you create a personal account, um, you're not going to be able to generate or create buttons through PayPal. You actually have to upgrade to a business account to do that. But in Muse, you can use what's built into Muse and you can use a personal account, but people can only pay via PayPal. They can't use a credit card outside of PayPal. I don't know if that makes sense. If you want to accept credit cards as well as PayPal payments, you need to open what's called a business account. And I don't think it takes too much. I've got one. I've got two, actually. But you can set those up if you want. Once you have a PayPal account, you can either, this is kind of cool, actually, you can go the the old-fashioned way. And let me do this. I'm going to log in real quick just to show you here. This is my PayPal account, or at least one of them I use for, for testing and different things like that. But if you go in there, you'll see that as a business PayPal account, you will have tools. And if I go to tools here, it's going to allow me to uh, create a PayPal button, it's called. There's a lot of other methods here to accept payments. But in our Muse site, a really simple way to do it is to create a PayPal button. And you can see here that you know we've got buy now buttons. And what I can do is I can say, let's view it. Let's go in and do something with it. And they're going to give you code. And you can actually paste this code from this button into Muse. This is one way to be able to do it. This is the long way around, okay? But you can do this. If you want, you can also just keep it simple. If I go over to Muse and take a look, I've got this kind of dummy page up here and I've got a bunch of content. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out and just show you what it looks like on the web. And don't worry about design and all that kind of stuff, but you're gonna see up here that I've got a view cart button. If I go to buy, I've created a buy page and just linked it to my uh, navigation up there. And you'll see that I've got these buttons here. I'm just selling these fake books. Okay. And you'll see I've got buy now and I've got add to cart and a bunch of other things here. But if I click on, let's say add to cart, I can set it up so that it goes to PayPal and adds it to a shopping cart system. Okay. Now this is pretty easy to do actually. So in order to get all these buttons and to hook it up to PayPal and make it so people can buy, it's really simple. You need a PayPal account. I already said that. But if you go to your site, what you want to do is you want to create a page or have a page where you want to sell something, right? You want to, well, when I say sell, I mean either sell or have people donate. You can also do donations. I'm going to open up a page here within Muse. And I've kind of got already the, like the content set up here. But if we want to add a button to sell or to donate, you'll go over to the widgets library on the right over here and you'll see that we have social. Here's all the social stuff. And if you scroll down, you're going to see PayPal. And what you can do is you can just click on the PayPal here and just drag it out. This is so cool. Drag it out, drop it on your page, and it's going to say, all right, what do you want to do? You have a lot of options here. Now, I'm going to tell you right now that there aren't as many options with this method using this widget within Muse as there are by going to the PayPal site and creating your own button. But if you look right here in the PayPal options, you can go in and say, okay, Buy now and pay now are the same thing. It's just different wording on the button, essentially. You're going to see donate. People can donate money. You're going to see add to cart and view cart. If you want, you can have a bunch of products like I have here. Well, a bunch being three, right? But you can have a series of products and people can click a button and keep shopping. So keep adding it to a cart that they, PayPal makes it. So if, if somebody clicks on add to cart, like I kind of showed you guys, it's going to take you to a cart page. They can click to go back okay, to your site. You'll also see custom buttons down here. Custom buttons are really only customized images. So if you want to create your own image for the button itself, like out here where it says buy now, you're going to create a custom one of these. If I have buy now, for instance, you're going to see I can't do add file because I'm not doing creating a custom buy now or custom pay button. We only have large and small. It's actually, you know, <laughs> pretty limiting here. Large and small is not that different. The email here, really, this needs to match your PayPal account email. So my PayPal account email was Brian would evolve at Gmail. There we go, at gmail.com. Beautiful. Don't use that, by the way. 
Uh, and then you can set an amount. I can say, okay, $9.99, whatever we want. Set a currency, US dollars, there's a lot there. And then we need to give it a name because this is the description, the name of the item, if you will, that's going to show up when people buy. And it's going to show up on like an invoice if you create that. So I want to say uh, sales secrets PDF. And you can even put like your the name of your company, you know, whatever you want to do. It's your call. Test it out. There we go. And we can see item number. Item number means nothing. It's just item to you. It's internal for you to, to realize what it is. Tax rate. If you need to charge taxes, you can. You can set that. If you need to charge shipping, this is all very manual. You're going to ship this stuff yourself. PayPal really, the way we're doing it, doesn't have like a button to say, click to go to UPS or that kind of thing. It's just you you ship it. So, all right, there we go. There's my buy now button. If I go take this page and go preview the page in the browser and just take a quick look at it, scroll down. There it is. If I click on the button, it's going to go to PayPal and say, let's do this. Let's buy it now. Now, like I said before, if you actually only are using a, if you're not using a business account for your PayPal account, you're not going to see pay with a credit card. Okay, You're not going to see that. It's usually only pay with PayPal. That's pretty much it. So so there it is. You can see sales secret, PDF, 999, item number, quantity, etc. They go through the process. You get an email. And you fulfill the order, if you will. You send them the PDF or however you want to do that. Okay, that's your call. Now, to go back real quick to Muse, just to show you, if we want to, we can create a JPEG GIF for ping to replace this little button here. And I've done that, and I just want to show you. If you go to the arrow here, the options for the PayPal button, you're going to see Buy Now. I'm going to say Custom Buy. Pretty much the same stuff here, you can see. But it's asking, okay... Give me your file. Where's your file? So I'll click Add File. I'll go out to my desktop. And you're going to see I've created a Buy Now, really kind of an ugly button. But there you go. It's Buy Now Ping or Add to Cart Ping, depending on what you're doing. If this is Buy It Now, you can say Buy Now, Pay Now, Get It, Do It. You can put whatever you want in the button. It's just text within a button. I'll click Open. And that's it. So what I'm going to do now is just make sure just I'm going to make this a little smaller just so it's not kind of tripping. It's really weird, but once you let go, it'll refresh and there we go. Now, if you want to create a cart where you want people to click on multiple things and be able to go back and forth between your site and PayPal and, and buy a bunch of stuff instead of doing it, you know, all separately, I can drag the PayPal button out. And by the way, you can copy this button all over and just change the price and the item and all that stuff. I can go to type here. And say, let's say custom add to cart. That means I'm going to create my own button, my own ping, JPEG, or GIF. If you just want to use the PayPal one, just click add to cart. That's the same thing. I'm going to add a file, and I've just got that one, add to cart. Really simple, you guys. You make it whatever you want. There we go. And now I can say, all right, this is going to be, you know, $12.99, or you set the price, you set all your options. This is a uh, widgets PDF. Whoops, widgets PDF. Go in there and do your thing. Item number two, however you figure that out. Do I need tax? No, not on this item because it's just, it's basically a digital download. Uh, and there we go. That's pretty much it. Now, if I go check out the actual site page, let me go preview the page in the browser. I should probably save it. You're going to see, okay, buy now takes me over there and says, give me money. Let's give it to you. Click add to cart now. It's going to take you over to PayPal. And in this case, it's going to say, okay, you just added this to your shopping cart. We can't really customize any of this using this method. Really simple, okay? You're going to see check out or check out with PayPal or continue shopping. People are like, oh, okay, cool. I'm going to keep shopping. Continue shopping. It's going to take people right back to your web page. They can go and click on another add to cart button or whatever they want to do and be done with it. I suggest that if you're going to do this add to cart thing and have people buy multiple products, multiple things, and this could be a lot of things, or donate them multiple times, however you want to do it, I suggest adding a button. Let me go back over to Muse. Add another PayPal button out there and make sure that you have a view cart button. This could be a custom one with your own picture or view cart. But if you do view cart, there's not much you can do here. You just need to assign your email. Just make sure you put your email in there, your PayPal email. There we go. Take this thing, this view cart. And if you want to, a lot of us, you'll see, we'll actually put it up in the, the header, in the, you know, somewhere that people can find it on different pages, especially if you have different product pages that people are going to. 
you want this view cart button to be in a central location. It's your call. Do whatever you want. But what I would probably do is I'd take this button and I'll cut it off the page. I'm actually going to go to the master page that this page has assigned to it. You can see right there, go to internal master. And I might paste it here and put it up in the nav, do something like that. So I'm not going to actually do this because I got to go through and, and set up my layering and all that stuff. And I'm, I stop, Brian, stop. Okay. Make sure you put it up there. Make sure that it's, you know, pinned or whatever you want, whatever you're doing with it. And you're good to go. You've got it. Now people can always go over to their cart and see what they've got in there and pay. And that's it. Really pretty simple. A nice, easy way to set up PayPal. If you want to take it further and do more types of payments, you want people to choose options like, you know, buy six or pick a size like a t-shirt, you're going to have to take it further. You're going to have to go to PayPal and generate your own buttons or create your own buttons and just copy paste the code in here. It's not that bad once you get the idea, once you get the hang of it. But there you go. That's working with PayPal and Muse.